Good morning and welcome back to another brand new video here from London. Uh, today is about 28 degrees, not too hot, but nice weather. Just came from Sri Lanka, 45 degrees hot. I'll take you out to the balcony. <laughs> Let me have a quick shave because I don't have to have a haircut because I had a haircut as soon as I come back from Sri Lanka. It's just a string, it's not exactly a full shave. We need to wear shape to bring it down a little bit. About three, four years younger. But many people told me to color my beard. I prefer this color. I might need a little bit of uh, trim on this. Nice and tidy. It's all right. But it needs to be cleaned. I don't want to shave this bit. Just want to. Maybe a little bit of trim later on. But yeah. I'm sure, this looks all right. I think it's done. Uh, let me put some cream. Normally, I do put cream. cream that I use is uh, skin, skin truth. Let me take my class back. Okay, let's make a cup of tea and decide where to go. Let's go and sit here and have a quick tea and decide where tea go. Okay, here's my tea I'm drinking. Again, the weather like that in the UK is very, very rare. Okay, to get the proper hot weather, I think it's about mid July, mid August. But then again, it's very, very rare that we get a hot weather in the UK. So, I can take you guys to central London. We'll be packed. Shopping areas will be packed. A seaside. Take you guys to South End, hopefully get some interesting video. There's a water leak somewhere here. I guess we can come from this. So as you guys can see, there's a uh, <coughs> street market on the on our main street. Basically, this is this market is always uh, at least three times a week. One day, Wednesday, Thursday. No, it's about four or five times a week. Especially on a Saturday, it'll be very very busy. As you can see, you can find you can find everything in here, including vegetables, clothes. Let me just quickly let you guys have a quick peek. And as you can see, there's some very cheap prices still. 
any fine shoes here. Okay, let's. I'll I'll show you. If you guys want to see the market video, just let me know so I can do a, another video very soon. Right now, let's head down to the station. Starbucks here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go quickly grab a. The weather is very very hot today, so I'm gonna quickly grab something very cold to take it with me to on the train. Let's see what they have here. I'm gonna just. Right here. So they have I don't know what you guys can see. They have salted caramel cool brew. And they got a Starbucks blonde latte for 355, sort of caramel for 75. So I'm gonna go for sort of caramel cream. So let's see. I think it's very, very hot outside, so we need to have kind of a cold drink. Hi there, can I get it uh, here? Salted caramel cream, please. Salted. Cold. Is it cold, yeah? Oh, yeah, it's cold. Yeah, cool. Uh, just give me a medium. Medium. Yeah. Uh, can I have a name, please? My name? <laughs> Durani. D U R A N I. Are you vlogging? Yeah, yeah, I am, yeah. I'm going to go south and do some videos there. I just came from Sri Lanka. Went to Turkey, went to Sri Lanka, I'm oh, here now. So, type here? Yeah, just type you okay to be on the camera, yeah? Uh, yeah, that's yeah, alright. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Thanks. So, yeah, I've got my latte. Normally, what they do is just take down the name and then they will call you when it's ready. Yeah, yeah that's, as I said, uh, today it's about 29 degrees outside. It's pretty hot. It's not hot at Sri Lanka, but yeah, it is quite hot. So let's go and see what the uh, South End had to offer. So hopefully, we're pretty packed in there. It's, yeah, it's, it's a pretty, pretty large, big place here. Yeah? They have all. And they can. Else do they have some good drinks? I quite like this. It's a ginger shot that I used to have. And there's another one called turmeric. It's, it's very good. Okay. This is my my pick. Yeah, so let me just make this. So I got my latte here. Let's uh this is the station so I need to get out of here. Yes, that guy So this is the Thank you. 
There you go. I'm assuming that is the card. Let me double check that. Hold on a second for a bit. Let's put this one inside so i'm gonna just take this and get out of here sorry you there you go done so it's platform one two six so It says, it says platform seven, so let's get into it. It says platform seven, so let's get into platform seven. Hopefully, the train is not too crowded. Let's see, so you can see here, yeah. people are there. Try to. I'm pretty sure everybody is trying to get into um, South End. Uh, not too sure, maybe. Maybe. Yep. So I'm gonna get the train. Uh, I'll start my video. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. This train goes south end. You know? Yeah. Thank you. Central. See you guys at the station. 
train, train looks pretty packed, uh, to be honest with you. So hopefully, the seaside will be packed too. Looking forward to it, let's go and see it. So I am guessing, the station is packed, I'm guessing the beach will be packed as well. We just came out of the station and it's pretty packed and sure this this road so I'm gonna just quickly show you this is the station down here as you can see it's pretty much like a, every other station so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just walk down straight to the Beach. Maybe I'm gonna walk down the. Uh, there's a high street shopping shopping street. Let's go around the high street and see what we can find, and then we can go down to the seaside. So guys, welcome to South End. Uh, this is the first time I've been here in South End. So let's see what we can find here. Uh, it looks pretty packed. So hopefully I might have some interesting uh, video to take. Let's say, stay with me. Okay, so you got like the body shop, And it's pretty standard high street, like in, uh, like every other place in the UK. Uh, there's a salon there. There's a salon there. Uh, and this market where I saw in Barkin, in JD. So let's go JD there as well. The high street that we see. <clears throat> There's some glasses there. And you get HMB, Super Drugs, Clintons. I don't think you have to come all the way to uh, South End to see all this because you get this kind of high street, high street shopping free every place in UK, in London, including my area where I live, walking, you have the high streets like this anyway. So yeah, you know, it's pretty much O2, Ryman Street, everything you find in the normal high streets, Holland and Barrett, Savers. As I said before, it's because of the hot weather. Um, people are just out and about because weather, hot weather like this in the UK is pretty rare. When you have it, you grab all of it and most of it so yeah Sorry. Uh, 
that's it yeah. It's pretty pretty um cool weather. I think this is the end of the road there's a there's a oh, okay there's some more there there's an audience cinema there oh look there's another high street on this side over there uh, I think we might there's much nothing much to see on this side uh, it's pretty much like a, every high street you see in um, around the UK so I'm gonna do is I wanna just go this side and see if there's anything okay. maybe a restaurant like I can go and have some meal later on today so yeah this is pretty much it on this side maybe we go that side just towards the sea and see what we can find over there stay with me You have here most of the restaurants on this side, so it's pretty good. So maybe I can come back later on to have some meal uh, and just see compare the prices. Maybe it is cheaper on this area, maybe not because it's a safe one. I'm pretty sure the prices are very high. Let's ask Italian, I like the Wagamama, basically, it's quite good. Ask Italian there. And there's a the Sainsbury's down the road. <coughs> and a brick house, I'm, I'm guessing that is a steak. Uh, there's a Santander bank there. Uh, I don't want to go that side because it doesn't look like nothing much on the that side. And that's a salsa tapas, which is a Mexican, I believe. If you need it, let's quickly have a look at the menu first. Homemade soup, 495, main course. Main course salad, chicken Caesar salad is 4.95. Sides, pasta. Yeah, it's pretty much like a seaside uh, menu. Uh, I, won't, I don't know whether to say it's expensive, but yeah. And this is another one there. Wing, wings top. Let's have a quick look at the menu. You have a piece of 7.95. I might come here later to grab something. So it looks nice. And plus it's Louisiana flavors. I'll probably pop in later on. Here. That's not done. And then you have Nando's. Yeah, Nando's is standard. I think the rings top is something that I've never tried, so I'm gonna come back to that one later. That's it. Uh, probably later on go down to the rings top because something that I've never tried. Something that I don't see in, in London area anyway. I've never seen that one before. So what I would do is I'll probably go there later to have my meal. It's pretty, pretty hot here. So yeah, as you can see, there's a man standing there. Um, yeah, because as I said, when there's a hot weather, people like to come out. In UK because they want to take the maximum they want to take the they want to enjoy the weather max they want to just enjoy this weather max up because it is very rare you see um, weather like that in UK because we do sometimes get it but then again suddenly starts rain or the weather changes to kind of a windy cold or rain yeah i'm pretty sure okay let's walk uh, 
there's nothing much to see on this side because it's pretty much like a, as I said before, every high street in London. Um, people are walking towards that side as you can see there. Uh, I'm guessing the beach is on uh, that side. So as you can see here, you have food shops, bakers, and River Highland, which is one of the popular high street shops. And also Greg's, Claire's, uh, Key Repair Shop. And this, this shop is for lease, so if you guys want to buy or rent it, contact them. And um, Marcy, I don't know what this is, Iron Box. Probably will come and check it out later. We got KFC. And also a job center there, which, as I said, is pretty standard, high street. There you find um, all in one meal, so, so it's like buy one get one free. You pretty much get everything that you want in one place. So yeah, and uh, let's walk straight down the beach. Uh, I don't know whether it's for the beach because in UK beaches are not really a uh, typical beaches in. Uh, typical beaches you find in Bali, Sri Lanka or any other countries. I'm hoping there's some uh, waves. That's because they're not exactly like a typical beaches in, you find in Bali or Sri Lanka or any other countries because it's, it's pretty... There's no waves. Uh, I, I was just watching, I was just looking out from the window when I... Uh, got off the train and there's no waves uh, and the, the water is uh, far far away from the <laughs> uh, beach so let's go and have a look maybe you find uh, some water or waves on this side but only the time will tell let's go and have a look okay we are pretty much getting Closer, and there's you got some um, place where you can sit and eat. There's a Costa there, and pharmacy here, and chip stations. And this is pretty interesting. Um, as you can see, it's a chip shop. I guess maybe they do sell fish and chips because it's by the sea. By the sea means you do find some fish and chip shops and there are sunglasses for sale here for $4.99 uh, let me have a look it's $4.99 so it's Possibly for kids, I don't know. So oh, I don't want to wear glasses. As you can see there, far away, you can see the beach. South End is really popular for one of the longest pier, pier in the world. This is, uh, well, I'm going to just check it out because that's one of the things that I always wanted to try because they have a, 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 a train ser a service because you can't walk because it's too far. So let's go in there and try and get into 
the train to get to see the piers. Hmm. You can see from this side here, this, this is where I came from, High Street, and then, then you come there. And this is uh, uh, pretty much the sea front. And when you come down there, you can see the, the carnival there, see? You can see there's some... To say the lift to pier and see from opening at 10.30 never know. to 9.30. So this one basically leads you to... Uh, the lift there leads you to the bottom there, see as you can see there. So what we can do is we go on top and see what we can capture. And there are a lot to, lot to see there. That's, oh, that's the seafront over there, right at the end. So, it's pretty... So as you can see there, it's... This is, this is the place I came from and then we go all the way up there on the other side and that side is also a place where you can see and this side where the beach maybe we go later on that side to have a look at it so we come this side and I'll show you guys the um, there is here as you can see this, this carnival down there going on and maybe later we can get into that place over there I can see a lot of people sitting there on the beach. That's probably the sea front. Let me go and have a look. Okay, let's uh, do. As, as I said before, I don't know whether you guys can see it. The beach is far, far away. There's no water. No water. I can see people walking down there. I'm not too sure what they are doing, but I don't know whether to call this place a beach because it's not exactly a beach. Yeah, I don't know whether you guys can see it because it's, it's you can see a water or waves around here. So as you can see, there's no waves. <laughs> you also can see people walking about on the side. The water is far, far away. It's just, just down there. I don't know whether you guys can see it. It's just over there. It's the water. Um, okay, uh, let's go down and quickly have a look. Uh, Maybe I'm gonna go down there to the um, carnival side. Probably have a look. I think probably I'll take the lift down. Maybe I'll take the lift down. As you can see, press this down. And then, oh, ground floor. I wanna get into the um, uh, seaside. Probably was go down to. Okay, as you can see, I'm nervous. I go on this way is um, fish and chip shops and towards the beach. Towards the beach, hopefully, we we'll get there later on today. And I'm guessing on this side, not too sure what's in there, so let's. Uh, Cross the road and um, so I'm going to cross the road here, uh, and that's where I came from. Obviously, that's the uh, view point, I guess. Uh, you can see everything. As I mentioned before, though, 
I don't call this a sea because there's no water there. Um, be careful when you cross the road, always look left or right and center. And there, and there is a ice cream parlor here. Which you probably can get some ice cream from. As I said, I came from over there. Uh, that's the real point. Um, so this is, this probably one leads to you to the railway. Maybe we'll go and check out how much. So the admission prices for the South End Pier is basically 620, 620 for an adult, it's return. And walk and ride is 570. I'm not too sure what it is, walk and ride. Walk about both ways is adult 250. Even to get in and walk, you still need to pay for it. And fishing pass, obviously, if you want to fish, uh, I think it's 890. You probably can go right down the. I don't know whether you can fish because there's no water in there. So I don't know how it's going to work. Uh, I would say, because it's the longest one, I would say 620. 620 is the. Yeah, 620 is the best price because you can just get in there go over there and come back so let's try that one a bit later on today at the moment i don't know we're gonna walk down the street as i said this is basically that is the real point and this all oh, these are kind of a uh, uh, food shops and over there you have the beach so i, I said before i want to try that wings but i'm looking at these places uh i don't know whether i'm going to change my mind and get to one of these places and try the food so right now let's walk down there's an adventure inside it's probably like a casino i'm not too sure this is where you get the ticket store let's go and have a look inside um, again you have the prices marked up here so I'm thinking that's 620 is the worth the price so yeah then I want to mention the opening time for so spring summer autumn and winter it's it's pretty much at the same times winter it closes at 5 p.m. because winter is kind of a Sunset is a bit shorter, so that's why. And again, even Wednesday and Sunday as well. So, this is what it's like inside. You have. Let's go and have a look at that. That's the train track over there. Uh, okay. Should I get in? I'm thinking I should. Uh, so this is the this is the train to get to the okay hi yeah how long would you go to oh, the, the end? train or what yeah. the train eight minutes uh, eight minutes okay yeah. that's not bad so up and down is six pound twenty isn't it that's right yeah yeah, yeah unless yeah. you're over sixty which I don't think you are oh yeah walking <laughs> might be a bit longer isn't it walking's about 20 25 minutes I uh, don't you don't recommend me walking. Well, it's up to you. You look fit. I'm fit. I'm recording videos for my YouTube, so that's Ooh. what I'm doing. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> walking is a little bit better than... Honestly. I mean, I'm only... You can split. You can do half Yeah, half. yeah. Half and half. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, well, if you buy a walking ticket, you get there. Oh, you have to pay for... Yeah, ah, yeah, both yeah. ways. Oh, okay. Clever. But if you get there, oh, exactly. Okay. Uh, oh. If you get the other end and you decide you do want the train back, just jump on and pay the difference when you can. Uh, hi, where do I buy tickets from here? For the train. For the train, yeah. Just oh, thank you. Yeah. I think I'm going to get the...
And you have also um, it's amazing as well. I don't think they consider that, I think maybe hey. yeah. 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 I think the train is taking off. We're still waiting on the Yeah, should we oh, oh is it? Okay, that's good. <laughs> Okay, one adult, return please. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. All right, yeah. I got the ticket in the end. So. Let's walk down. Leave here at 12 and leave the other one at 4 past. Oh, this is the train. So, yeah. See if we can get into well damn it's really fact but that's the end over here as you see the beach by to be honest with you it's pretty there's no waves like a kind of cool I still see people over there Water. Okay. It's been 
hardly see water and you can see it's off. I'm pretty sure if you go faster, you can get about five, ten minutes anyway. But yeah, there's a fish and chip shop down here. Um, let me just. I can see why this is the longest pier in the world. As we can see, there are no waves and water level is low, so it is easy to build the longest piers. You can still extend it with the uh, So, yeah, let's go on the other side and see what's in there. Let's walk down. Skitty's games there. Just remind me, I think I've been here before, I'm not too sure. Maybe I have, maybe I'm not. Uh, let's go down there. This is the main thing. As you can see, this side there's some water there. You can see it's a little bit deeper on this side. Um, get into water. Um, but that side is not that deep as a man said in there. I found this place. Uh, looks like a restaurant to me. And welcome to the longest <laughs> pier in the world. As I said, I can imagine why this is the longest pier. There's no water. There's no water. The water level is low. As you can see, so this is kind of a restaurant, nice cream you can have. Maybe I'll have an ice cream in a bit. So, yeah, that's the place where you visit the lifeboat. Again, I don't know if there's anything. Here, guess it's pretty boring. Let's, uh, let's go there and see. This is the sun deck. I don't know whether it's free. I'm sure it is free. Go and have a look. Yeah, it's probably free. Might as well go up there and have a look. Yes. I'm sure it's free. Yeah, it's quite deep. Maybe. No, I can go inside here. So yeah, let's go around and see. It's like a kind of a lifeboat. So as you can see, I can imagine why this is the longest here because the water level here. Let me just go that side and show you.
you ask me, is it worth six pound twenty? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Again. Nothing much to see, but it's an experience that um, just gonna experience it one time. That's it. I don't want to come multiple times here because <laughs> there's nothing to see. So as you can see, this is. Let me just give a quick view up there. Look at that. That is the. Um, there's a restaurant that I'm going to go in, in a minute so just to have a quick drink drink or something like that and uh, I want to go to that it's where the, the train stops so if you ask me is it worth it I would say is it worth it just to one time experience Not exactly a, a seaside because the sea, what I know was got waves. There are no waves here. It's like kind of a river or a stream or even a pool. But it's an experience, I like it. Nice breeze, but I don't think you can come in winter time. done with this we we'll go back uh, we will check out the beach and have something to eat uh, let's see what I can do after stay with me Got some nice view over here. You can see that's where I came from. Uh, yeah. So right, let's go quick. That's it. Oh yeah. And, uh, I think I think I'm done here. There's nothing much to see. So So let's go. It's a one time experience guys, it's not exactly that you see Yeah, I want to come back and back and back again and again but it's, So £6.20 is, is worth it um, I wouldn't complain about it Because it's only a one time, as I said, a one time experience So, 
let's go. So I'm gonna go get some, uh, grab some food from here, but I thought these ones are typically you can find uh, everywhere. So I am going to try that, the place that I saw earlier today. Um, That's something that I've never tried. I can just do a quick comparison to, I think this is the line that I'm waiting to get back to. The mainland, I guess, yeah. Looks pretty good call there. So what I'll do is I will talk to you guys when I get to the other side. So, the end of Longest Pier in Uh, as I said, why is it the longest period? Because I can see there's no the water level is very, very low, so that's probably the reason it's the longest period. You can even extend it further down because it's still the water level is very, very poor over there. So, see you guys on the other side. Cheers, mate. Cheers. <laughs> Have a good trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay, now there's still people waiting out there to get it. As I said, it's going to be just one time uh, fix all in debt. There you go. Thanks for visiting your. The end of the world longest pier tour. Um, I saw a boy just running down the street. I saw that family pulled up with the boy. Hopefully. Because you have to be very, very careful on this places like this when you have your kid just running. Just like that, it was just running. Uh, I knew there was something wrong. I knew. So it's just randomly picked a family who was sitting there to ask them but it's their kid. Guess what? It's their kid. So entire family ran down this way uh, to get the boy. So, so I'm walking down there to see if they have caught up with the boy. Hopefully they have. If not, that's a shame. Let's see.